So consider this K map. In this K map, what are the subcubes? This can be a subcube. It is a subcube. It is a subcube. It is a subcube as well as this complete is a subcube. Okay. So this subcube is representing C complement, D complement, and A. This subcube is representing A, B, C. This subcube is representing C, D, and A complement. This subcube is representing A complement, B, C complement. This subcube is representing uh, B and D. Okay, so let us uh, try to make a prime implicant chart for this. So, what are the terms we have? We have uh, from 0 to 15. So, 1, oh, sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay. So, let us group them so that it, it, it will be better, easier to understand. Okay. And the subcubes which we have, they are A complement B C complement, A complement C D, A B C, A C complement D complement and BD. Okay, so these are the subcubes which we have. Okay, and the first subcube is A complement B C complement. A complement B C complement. It is covering the terms which are 4 and 5. So it is covering the terms which are 4 and 5. If we take the subcube uh, A complement C D complement, it is covering the term which is 3 and 7. So it is covering the term which is 3 and 7. ABC is covering the term which is 14 and 15. It is covering the term which is 14 and 15. And AC complement D complement is covering the term which is 13 and 9. 13, 13 and 9 they are covered. And now ABC, BD is covering 5, 7, 13 and 15. 5, 7, 13 and 15. Okay, so first of all, let us identify what are the uh, essential prime implicants. See, I told you the essential prime implicants are the implicants which cover a term which are not covered by any one of them. So, in a solution equation, in a solution equation or the minimized equation, all the essential prime implicants should be there. If you don't have any essential prime implicants in the solution equation, then the solution equation is not minimized. That will not give you the correct solution, right? Uh, if you miss out any essential prime implicant, then the solution is not representing the equivalent logical function which is represented by that particular function. So all the essential prime implicants should be there in the solution, right? So if you take the first essential prime implicant, that is A complement B C complement. Why it is essential prime? Because it is covering a term which is four, which is not covered by anything else. So A complement B C complement is covering four. So other no no one else need to cover four. It is covering five. So no one else need to cover five. Okay, so next one is if you take A complement CD. Now A complement CD is also essential prime because it is covering 3 which is not covered by anything else. So if we take A complement CD then it should be covering 3 as well as it will be covering 7 which no one else need to cover. Okay, now if you take ABC then ABC is covering 14 which is not covered by anything else. So if we take ABC then it is covering 14 and 15 which is uh, no one else need to cover 15. If you take A, C, complement, D, complement, then A, C, complement, D, complement is covering 9, which is not covered by anything else. It is also covering 13, which is not covered by, uh, which should not be covered by anything else because 13 is already there in the solution. So, therefore, these three should be there in the solution. But if you take BD, then BD is not having any term which is not covered by others. So, every term, every term which BD is having is covered by all these four is covered by all these four therefore bd need not be there in the solution therefore solution equation which we will be having is a complement bc complement plus a complement cd plus abc plus a c complement d complement bd should not be there in the solution 
if you want to minimize the equation. So even if we add BD, it will not make any difference. But still, uh, BD, uh, if you don't add BD, then the solution can be minimized. Okay. So this was so this was in the case of this applicant uh, is this particular sol uh, this particular question, but it is not necessary that you will not be adding any uh, uh, non-essential prime implicate in the solution. In some cases, it will be important for us to add all these uh, non-essential prime implicates because uh, if we don't add this, then we will not be covering some particular term. So let me do one thing. Let me take one more example of this where we'll be having. Uh, some implicates which are prime implicates but they are not essential prime implicates but it will it is necessary it will be necessary to uh, take uh, some of those non essential prime implicate in the solution if you want to give a correct solution okay so let me do that